Hey guys, today, we're going to use Cursor AI to build a simple to-do list app. With the help of this AI-powered coding editor, we'll be able to code a lot faster, debug more efficiently, and bring this app to life with ease. If you haven't heard of Cursor AI, it's an AI coding editor designed to boost productivity for developers. Cursor AI is trusted by companies like Shopify, OpenAI, and it offers some advanced features such as code base understanding, code generation, fast edits, chat features, quick questions, which lets you talk to AI like you talk to a developer, and you can do all of them in your source code. We're going to cover these features as we build this app together. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here's a simple to-do list app we're going to build today. This app allows you to add new tasks by clicking the plus button, mark tasks as complete by checking them off, and delete tasks with a delete icon. We'll be building this app using plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, making it beginner-friendly and easy to understand. Building this app would normally take some time, especially for those who are new to coding. However, today, we're going to build this app quickly and efficiently with Cursor AI. This tool will help us handle the repetitive tasks, suggest intelligent code completions, and assist in debugging as we go along. Now, let's move on to the next step and get Cursor AI set up. To start using Cursor AI, head over to Cursor.com. From the home page, click on the Download button that corresponds to your operating system. Once the download is complete, go ahead and install it like any other application. Open the program, and you should see the Cursor AI interface ready to go. The interface is similar to other coding editors like VS Code. On the left is the file explorer for managing your project files. In the center is the code editor where you'll be writing your code and interacting with AI. At the bottom, there will be a terminal to run commands and see outputs. I will show these features in detail soon, but first let's set up our app. First, we need to create our files manually. index.html, style.css, and app.js. These files will be the foundation of our app. Index.html will handle the structure of our app. It's where we define the layout, input fields, buttons, and task list. Style.css will style our app, making it visually appealing by controlling the colors, fonts, margins, and spacing. And app.js is where the magic happens. We'll add functionality using JavaScript to handle task additions, deletions, and other interactions. Instead of writing all the code ourselves, we'll use Cursor AI's chat feature to help us. You can open the chat by pressing Command plus L if you're on Mac, which brings up a chat field on the right side of the screen. Here, we can instruct Cursor AI on what we want it to do. Let's begin with the HTML file. I'm giving here the following instruction. Create me an empty HTML template to build a simple to-do list HTML structure which should include a title, one input field together with two buttons, one unordered list with checkboxes on each line, and a create button for adding new tasks on the list. When the button is clicked, a modal box should appear where the user can create a new task on an input field or cancel it. Also, make sure to include the styling and JavaScript files and link them inside the HTML file. Click Enter, and Cursor AI will quickly create the code for you. If you click on Apply, the code will be copied. If you install a live server, you can directly see changes in your local host. Now we can move on to the second step and start styling our app. Once again, you can give instructions to Cursor for styling your app. But if you have a screenshot of the design, you can upload it here, and simply ask it to match the design. So I select the styles.css file, drag the screenshot, and type match the styling with this screenshot. Click Enter. AI creates the classes and calls them in the HTML file. Click Apply, then accept the changes for both files. save the changes, and we see that it's almost perfect. When we inspect the elements, we see that the input field is way too large, 
So let's ask to do a quick edit. I type here, the input field is way too large and goes outside of the container. Can you fix it? And, Cursor AI makes the necessary changes. Click on Apply, and you see the problem is now fixed. It's even responsive. Great. Next, for functionality, we'd normally write JavaScript to add these tasks, mark them as complete, and delete them from the list. So, type write JavaScript code to handle adding, deleting, and marking tasks as complete in the To-Do List app. Now, Cursor AI not only generates the JavaScript code to handle all the interactions, but it also explains what the code does. Normally, this would take quite a bit of time, but with AI, we have a functional app in a matter of minutes. Once again, click Apply, then Accept, and let's test if it's working. Looks great so far, but if you encounter errors with the code, simply tell Cursor AI what's wrong and let it fix it for you. You can do that by directly typing on the chat field, or you can select the code, click on Edit, and type new instructions. Now let's simulate a common coding mistake by adding a wrong character. If we open the chat and define what the problem is, Cursor AI will refactors the code to fix the errors. Cursor AI offers a free version with basic features, giving a two-week trial. You can upgrade it to a paid plan later if you wish. Just to recap, Cursor AI offers powerful features like auto-completion for faster coding, AI-assisted debugging to catch and fix errors, syntax highlighting for better code readability, and many others. This was a quick example on how we built a simple to-do list app using Cursor AI. It's an efficient tool that makes coding faster and more enjoyable, especially for beginners. If you found this video helpful, please hit like button. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and thanks for watching.